Kathy Yeldon for the Huffington Post, Caught in the Act. Today I'm caught an activist in the Dan Eldon Center for Creative Activism, Creative Visions Foundation. Nancy Conrad, what are you up to? Who are you? <laughs> You're just changing the world little by little. I, I host a, a challenge for teams of high school students all over the world. We ask them to create commercially viable products to solve global and local problems for the benefit of humanity, really sustainability with a uh, science and technology lens that they look through. We work in aerospace, we work in cybersecurity, nutrition, and energy. We sort of turn geeks into rock stars, if you will. Um, I guess geek is chic. What we're trying to do, Kathy, is grow the next generation of innovators to give these kids a shot at understanding the context for the content that they're learning in the classroom. So why do I have to know all this stuff? Well, think about it, stretch it, go make something out of nothing, and then we'll help you. This year we went into 44 countries and we're all over the U.S. Kids from inner cities, kids from the top schools in the country, they all come together at an innovation summit, which is the finals which we will be doing at Johnson Space Center uh, April 10th through 13th. The work that we do is based on the legacy of my late husband. Uh, my husband was expelled from school in the 11th grade. He had problems reading and spelling, and they didn't know what dyslexia was in those days, so they threw him out. They said he was stupid. And his mom took him to this little school in upstate New York, and the headmaster at the school saw something special in this young man, took him under his wing. The kid ends up with a scholarship to Princeton. He becomes an aeronautical engineer, because as it turns out, and I figured this out later, you don't have to read or spell very much if you're an aeronautical engineer. He then went on to become a test pilot, and my late husband then flew four flights in space, uh, including Apollo 12, which was the second lunar landing. And then he was awarded a Congressional Space Medal of Honor for rescuing Skylab, which was our first space station. So all this happens because an educator takes a kid under his wing, and the kid gets a moonshot. So I said, that's what we're going to do. We're going to give kids their moonshot. Tom Friedman said it best, you know, if we want more jobs, we need more Steve Jobs. So that's what we're trying to do is, is I call it infectious innovation, to really get kids juiced about learning. And once you get them juiced about education, they, they want to really um, um, get as much of it as they can. I'm totally infected by whatever yeah. it is that you're doing. It feels like a virus that needs to spread everywhere. Nancy, how can we help the Conrad Foundation People, I think, will really want to roll up sleeves and help. Right, no, what that's super. Do? Thank you. Um, we, they can come into our website, which is conradawards.org, become a mentor to these kids, just sign on. Everything we do is free. Um, you know, if anybody wants to donate, hallelujah, I'll raise the flag and build a shrine. But we've grown this tremendous community of young innovators. We bring in top tier um, people to come talk with them at our Innovation Summit. I don't like to talk at kids, so we do fireside chats and roundtable conversations. So everybody from like Vince Cerf to a Nobel Prize winner could be sitting next to a, a young high schooler in a peer-to-peer -peer relationship. Um, and it's a game changer for these kids. They learn how to network, they learn how to do elevator pitches, they learn about entrepreneurship, innovation, and education. And that's what we do. Um, it's, it's been a really exciting program.